Yes, with people, welcome back to another video. And what I've found out for you so today is a day in the life of a non league footballer, match day plus one. If you don't know what that is, it's literally day after a match day. And this video in particular is for your entertainment and for you to have a clear understanding on how to recover your body and just prepare yourself for the week. But I'm gonna try and freestyle this, okay? So if you see me without a trim, just completely ignore it. This is what I do on a day like today, a Sunday. So um, yeah, I've had some difficulties recently regards to actually trying to put videos together because I've been extremely busy. I've had some shoots with Sports Direct slash Puma. It's my birthday, so I'm trying to put a video for you together. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and do the best I can. So let's carry on with this video. So listen up, guys. I just want you to continue supporting this channel, okay? Like and comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And this video in particular, I'm just gonna use the power of editing. See how powerful it is, okay? Um, but apart from that, I'll see you at the gym. So we're back again with another voiceover at the gym for this recovery session. We're going to do a 10 to 15 minute light cycle followed by a 10 to 15 minute walk with an incline of four and a speed of four. I don't know why I use those numbers, but it feels good. We're then going to go to the stretching area, get the gun out, get the roller out. And we're just going to get into those key areas that felt tight from yesterday's game. Just trying to loosen them out for the rest of the week, just in case you have a Tuesday game. And then we're going to go and just work on those other areas that are tight. I'm going to head to the swimming pool, do about four to six lengths. Again, depends how strong of a swimmer you are. Do as many lengths as you can, but just don't go too far. After that, we're then going to head to the spa. I like to get myself in a plunge pool. And I'm not going to lie, if you can't go to these facilities, etc., it's so easy to literally just ice up your bath with cold water and just do that. After that, I'm then going to head to the steam room. Then I'm going to go to the foot bath. And then after that, I'm literally just going to relax. I'm not going to say I meditate, but I'm just going to like focus on my breathing. And you know what? These hot beds are vital day before match day. I didn't include that last time. And then I'm going to finish it off with the sauna. And that right there will be the most ideal recovery session day after a match day. A light cycle, walk, stretch, and then swim and spa is personally perfect for me but obviously you have your own preferences so make sure you do stuff similar to that if you want your body to be fully recovered for the rest of the week but for now just gonna have my little bit of lunch and you can't get these nowhere it actually winds me up so much you only get these at Lloyd but if anyone can help me find this all right anywhere please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll reward you with whatever you want but um, yeah, gonna have this and then I'm gonna head to the ship because I have to work on a Sunday. I know, crazy. Gonna miss the West Ham game against Burnley and I'm not very confident. Um, no idea how this game's gonna go because they need wins, but obviously see what happens there. Uh, and I know you all might hate me for this, but I'm thinking of not changing, but having like a joint first team to support. And that'd be Man City. West Ham, I'll be 2023. Europa Conference League winners. But yeah, I want to go to the Champions League game so badly. Just listening to that anthem just gives me goosebumps. But my dad's here. I've got to head to work now. Um, so I'll catch you all in a bit. Now after that gym recovery session, lunch, then work, I'm finally at home. I'm actually, how do I pull it? Not in reality, I'm finally in time, if that makes sense, because I had to do my intro now for then, but now is now. Does that even make sense? It's literally just after six o'clock on a Sunday and I have myself a little care package. They are the Nike P6000, I think. Yeah, what do you sort of think of these, by the way? Drip on that. But apart from me dilly-dallying, I'm just messing about now. I now need to actually focus and normally do what I do on a Sunday, okay? And that would definitely be watching my match back from the Saturday game, aka yesterday. Uh, that was against Truro, a flipping trek, by the way. I kind of do feel for them because their way ground's three and a half hours away from them. It's in Gloucester. I know, nuts, but it was an absolute journey for us. Um, I'm going to show you some of the clips. I'm not going to show everything because this ain't a match reaction video. And then later on, I'm going to go to Mrs. and have a Chinese. Okay, so that'll be that. I'll see you all in a bit. Let's go. 
Here we go, first highlights of the game and Josh wins us a little penalty about four minutes into the game. Upsets George and slots it into the bottom corner. Nice 1-0 lead early on. After that, Jermaine passes me the ball. A nice first touch, plays it out to Odie. Odie then runs, sets it back to me. An okay cross in a good area. Good save from the goalkeeper. After that, we're trying to play out and that happens. Um, the craziest goal I've ever conceded, hands down. Get the ball here, nice little floated ball into a good area. Good save from the keeper again. Um, and then after this was my first assist of the game. Cameron Stin off the line. Next one, great touch from me. Punch it into Odie and you know what? <laughs> Just let the football do the talking there. Wow. <laughs> Great finish from OD. We're two on up now. Um, here's some defensive duties from myself. Just no nonsense. Head it out of play. Little throw on here into OD. Um, brings it down. Plays it to Cal. Cal's a long shot. Good save. And then I don't know how they keep it saved it again. <laughs> That's not 4 1 right now. Little corner from me again into Finley. Good attempt, but not close enough. And then Jermaine working down the right, flowing it in, and it's hit the post. And. <laughs> Oh, it could have been one of those days, but we'll see at the end what the result was. Nice little punching pass from me again, out to Odie. Um, and here, Josh gets his second penalty of the game. Upsets George and he slaps it in the back of the net. Another one here, obviously me showing my long throw on trait down the line. Listen, the way it's doing me justice. Um, another throw into Jermaine. Jermaine sits it back to me. A nice floated in ball to George. Great touch again. And <laughs> George could have had about three hat tricks. I'm not going to lie, but another corner from me. Cleared out to Josh. Josh whips one in but hits the post. So again, we're just piling pressure, playing well. Um, but we're just not scoring. We're not being clinical enough. Um, nice little turn from me into Woody. Um, and then here's a little foot race against that winger who came on the pitch. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like I had a parachute on my back. I felt bare slow, but looking at it there, I felt I felt alright. And after that, that was pretty much the rest of the highlights. So those highlights against Truro are wrapped up. Let me know in the comment section down below out of 10 how well you think I've done. A little two, three minute highlight reel isn't too bad at all and again i'm just chucking all types of content in this day in the life of a non-league footballer match day plus one again if you don't know what i do for a job i pull in boats i work on party boats yachts etc so if you want to see those type of exclusive videos let me know in the comment section down below but apart from that it is late i don't know if you can tell by the tone of my voice so thank you very much for watching this video in particular make sure you like comment and subscribe we see you soon take care and bow and you know what? I'm actually feeling generous. If you lot smash 5,000 views, I'll give away some of the items that are in here. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but you know what? If you do that, there's a giveaway. How about that?